Devin Lerett just did something which may make him an enemy of the sport. Hello arm wrestling fans, in today's video we will talk about Alexei Vovoda's comments about his comeback, John Brzezink match, is he retired, is he going to continue and also his comments about certain styles of arm wrestling, kings move and flop press. Eddie Hall's tricep injury, is he still going to continue with the Brian Shaw match? We'll take a look into that as well. And finally, Devon Lerett being an enemy of the sport. Vovoda mentioned that since he took a long break from arm wrestling, he lost a ton of strength. In fact, I'll quote what the translation said in the recent Body Mania video. If you take a trajectory of return, it is such a long journey because I lost a lot of strength for a very long time. Apparently, it takes a long time to restore it again. When Vovoda was asked about the John Brzezink match, whether he presented his best shape against John or not, he talked something about 20 years. I'm not sure if he was talking about his age gap because this is less than 20, maybe 17 years. I think he was talking about the match that happened 20 years ago at Zlotti against John, which he won. He mentioned that 20 years ago, he won against John easily because at that time, he wasn't dealing with any injuries. His hand was injury free, just like the rest of his body. That's why he was easily able to wrist curl John and get the victory. And this is something that he couldn't do in this recent match. So is he blaming the loss on injuries? Well, I hope not. Because even if he was injured, still a gap of 17 years in age cannot be neglected, especially when the guy that beat you was almost 60 years old. Vovoda further said that at this high level of arm wrestling, you need to be completely injury free to perform. And as of now, he doesn't have any particular interest in doing that. So maybe something is lost in translations here. That's why I'll show you the exact screenshots of the translations, but it looked like Vovoda has quit. To me, this statement seems like he has no interest in coming back to arm wrestling in a competitive sense. He is still training, he is still enjoying, he is still having fun on the arm wrestling table, but no more competitions, at least not outside of his country, at least not at a very high level. He even said that he doesn't know why he already performed. So I think he was talking about the John Brzezink match. Maybe he regrets doing that match as well. Again, whatever I'm saying, please take it carefully because if there is something that is lost in the translation from Google, then we may have a bad interpretation of what Vovoda actually said. He also talked about his, I'll say dislike, maybe that's a strong word, but he doesn't really enjoy seeing flop press and also a king's move. He said that for him, arm wrestling is mostly getting inside in a hook and showing your part there. Flop press is something that he always thought as an ugly move. He doesn't like to arm wrestle that way and he doesn't teach anyone else to arm wrestle that way. Vovoda understands that these two styles, king's move and flop press, which he doesn't like, are a part of arm wrestling these days. Although he doesn't like them, but he understands that these styles do give us good matches sometimes. Good in terms of really long excruciating matches. So about this first topic, please mention your understanding in the comment section. Is Vovoda retired or are we misunderstanding something? So almost a week ago, Eddie Hall tore his left tricep while doing shoulder presses with 100 kilo dumbbells. But the good news is that the Brian Shaw match is not cancelled. This is what Eddie said about his injury. It's a muscle tear, done it a thousand times, it will be fine. No point crying about it. So definitely it is not going to stop him from training for arm wrestling and maybe it can be even better so that he goes easy on overall body exercises and focuses only on his right arm which is completely fine and healthy as of now. Still not many people would believe that he has a chance to defeat Brian Shaw but if he does, would then he be called the new Levan Slayer? I want the answer to this question as well. On Instagram, there's a page called Arm Wrestling Edit. I think Devon too follows this page. And recently, 11 of his posts got taken down. All of the posts were involving East versus West and Core Sports. Since then, he has been going all out against Engin, against Core Sports. And you can see that in the screenshots. What I didn't expect is Devon making a video about this and supporting this page and other pages whose videos got taken down and kind of going against the establishment, which is East versus West, which is Core Sports. What's up guys? Hey, to all the arm wrestling meme accounts out there, y'all know who you are. 
all the guys who do the awesome edits. Hey, thank you so much. You guys are the unsung heroes of social media. Without you, nothing goes. The troll army is the most powerful force. I salute you guys. And uh, just know um, I am deeply appreciative of Arm Wrestling's troll army. Uh, hey, on any thoughts? Full agreement. I love your guys' stuff. Keep pumping them out. Keep yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight the power. Yeah, fight the power. Fight, fight the, the power. power. One thing is for sure, and I can guarantee you that after doing this move, if Engin didn't need Devon to sell the pay-per-views, Devon Lerritt would be instantly the biggest enemy of the sport of arm wrestling. And there's just no doubt about that. I've seen Engin banning people for just putting a like on a post which was against him or criticizing him. That has happened to me a couple of times. So I know how it works. And Devon doing a whole video supporting enemies of the sports that would definitely put Devon himself in the category of being the enemy of the sport that's a funny situation kind of an unexpected one please mention in the comments your thoughts about this video like the video and subscribe to the channel